couch Dogs need the lesson Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome full finger style arrangement lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. In this video I'm gonna teach you how to play an arrangement I made especially for you guys and girls of Blame It on the Boogie. You're gonna learn some really cool chords as well as how to play the arrangement. But first I have to play it so you can see in here how it goes and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick with tabs right here and everything. Goes like this, enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so you play five on the fifth string. Okay, and you want to play it with your pinky because then you need two two on the sixth string. Okay, so there's no need to move your hand. Okay, pinky, forefinger. Right? Then you have two two on the fifth string. Then two two on the sixth string again. And then the open sixth string twice. Then it's two three four on the sixth string. And then zero hammer on to two pull off to zero on the fifth string. Right? Then you have everything again, but instead of the open sixth string twice, you just play it once and then two, three, four. Then you play the open fifth string and you play five, three, four on the first, second, and third strings. Okay? Okay, now this is G add nine over A. Okay? It's also a sort of an A sus chord, okay? A sus add nine, right? But the easier way to look at it is G add nine over A. Not that there is an easy way to look at a complex chord, but that's what it is. So um, that's the intro, basically. Five, five, two, 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 zero, zero, two, three, four, hammer on pull off. Okay, zero, two, zero on the fifth string. Then again, five, five, two, 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 Zero, two, three, four, A. And the chord, five, three, four on strings one, two, and three. How cool is that chord? Then you play seven on strings one, two, three, and six. Right? It's B minor seven. Okay, but we don't need to play the D string, so basically we're playing D minor. And the seventh note is ten on the second string, which is next. Okay, so it's 10, 10, 7, 10 on the 2nd string, okay, and then 7 on the E string. Now it's all in the bar, basically, right? And you can harmonize the 2nd string solo with 7 on the 3rd string, okay? So it was... Okay? It's 
this. Then it's a D chord, just a normal D chord, and you play the D chord. Then it's the open E string, three on the B string, open E string. So that's all it is. Then it's um, the open E string and the open B string. So this kind of paints a D6 chord, a D6 add nine chord, if you like. Okay? And then you play this. Okay, it's the same notes, but on B minor. So it's B minor, the chord. Then it's five, three, five, five on the second string. Again, you can harmonize with two on the third string, which becomes B minor seven. And then four on the third string, or the open second string, if you're daring enough. So, okay. Now this, kind of turns it into a very thin chord if you just open the second string. So I suggest you do and then just close the chord again. Okay, if you play three on the second string by mistake, still makes no difference because the ear hears the right note because it anticipates it because of the lyrics. So um, that's the beginning. It's a B minor to D to B minor seven. D open second string. Now, keep your finger on two on the third string in case you want to harmonize so uh, so you don't get this. So, yeah, you can harmonize with uh, the rest of the chord all the time or just the lower string. Then it's uh, B minor, seven as I said. Um, mm. okay. And then you have this. It's G to G add nine. Okay, so it's a bar on three with th uh, with four on the third string. Okay, bar on three with four on the third string for the major note. Okay, you don't have to play strings five and four. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you just bar it. So strings one, two, three, and six on three, three, four, and three. And then you add five on the E string with your pinky creating the G add nine that we ended the intro with, just without the tension in the bass notes. So it's the same chord, basically, with the correct bass note, with G. So, okay, uh, three, five on the E string. Then it's the D string with, okay, it's five slide to six, slide to five, three on the second string. Okay, so that's the first round of the verse, B minor. Okay, actually, you have that. Okay, so it's a uh, this B minor. Okay, now if you want to uh, have a real disco feel to it, you want to play the whole chord all the time. So um, you play strings one, two, and three here. Then when you play the solo, you can play strings two, three, and four. Okay, because you have the low seventh note, and then strings one, two, three, and four again. Then D, and then the B minor. And then the G add nine to D. Then you start the same way, B minor, and then D, and then it's G major seven. Okay, so it's two and three on strings one and six. Okay, so fingers one and two, basically. Then you have okay, the open E string, three on the B string, open E string twice. So. Then three zero on the second string, two on the third, and then the G add nine over A again. So G major seven, and right, or right, just uh, a rhythmic beat right, to indicate both the melody note and rhythm. Um, so that's the verse. And then, and then the, um, then B minor again, D again, 
G major 7. As you see, I'm picking the whole chord all the time. Three notes. And then... Okay, the A sus4 add 9 or G add 9 over A. Okay, that's the problem with chords. The more notes you have in them, the more trouble you have with nomenclature, the, the more you can name them. You can just... You can also name this chord by the B note. Never mind. Um, no theory nonsense here. Uh, just playing. So that's the verse. Now the the chorus is actually simpler than the verse. Um, you play this note, and then you just play it twice, or you can strum it okay, to play the play it on line. Okay, you don't really have to follow the lyrics here. Then you have okay, this. It's seven 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 zero. It's D six. That's all it is. And then you have... Okay, it's um, three on the second string, basically. Okay, that's the lyric note. Um, with the open D string, so I harmonize with two on the third. Okay, and again, I just uh, let my fingers decide how to play it at the moment. Okay, just... Okay, even that is enough. Okay? And then you have this. Okay? It's C9 and 11. Okay? It's 1, 3, 3 on strings 1, 2, and 3 with 3 on the A string. Okay? You can call it B flat over C as well. Okay? Because it's B flat with C as the bass note. And then it's 3, 3, 3 and 3 on the fifth string. So you can just lay down your pinky. So. Okay? Or change into a barring finger. Okay? And then again, it's the three on the second string with three on the third string. And again, you can play it, um, you can just hint at the lyrics. Okay? Then, then you have to bar. And you play 6-5 on the 2nd string, harmonized by 3 on the 3rd, with 3 on the 5th. It's... Okay, it's a C7 line. Then it's... Okay, it's D7 to D. Um, so it's 1-2 on the 2nd and 3rd strings. Okay, no bass note yet. Okay, and then... You play them again with the D string hammering on three on the second string. So, um, okay, so, okay, and that's the chorus. I told you it's a lot simpler than the verse. So, D6, and then if you want, okay, you play the D5 chord there, or just the third string on seven. Same thing, um, just with a harmonic note there, and then the C um, add eleven chord, or then the C seven, and then the D seven to D. Now the I just can't, I just can't, I just can't control my feet part is this. And then, okay, sorry, um, okay, the bass notes are D, B, F, and then G, A, leading you back to D. So there are several ways you can harmonize this. Um, it's a D chord at the beginning, so you can play the whole chord and two pull off to zero on the E string, then three on the B string. Then you have the same lyric, okay, two pull off to zero on the E string, three on the B string, but with a B bass, two on the fifth string. So you can just play it, or play the open second string, because it's B, or you can play three on the B string right away, okay, for B minor. It's your choice, okay, or everything works here. You can alternate between them. You need to repeat the line four times anyway. Then you have F. 
And it's supposed to be kind of an F minor thing. Um, so I play two and one on strings one and two with my thumb on one on the sixth string. Okay, for the tension. And then three on the second string. So you can also play the open second string. But then you have the you have that dirty interval. I don't like it. Okay, this is inside the chord, so... Okay? And then you have the open E string, then the G major 7 shape again. Right? And then 2-0 on the E string with a G, so... And then 3 on the 2nd string with A, leading you back to D. So, D, B bass, F bass, G bass, A. And that's the I just can't control my feet part. Now um, you can you can substitute the F with E minor, right? With the open second and sixth strings, right? Because um, it's organic to what's going on because it's D and then B and then E, okay? E minor and then G A. So if you find the F too harsh, then substitute it with E minor. But the F is, um, it's organic to the disco sort of composition because it's jazz influenced. All of these chords here are jazzy chords. So that's the lesson. And before you go download the tab, the link is in the description below. Uh, before you go, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I don't see a reason why not. Everything is for free. There's a ton of lessons already and I upload a new one regularly. So um, go download the tab. As I said, the link is below in the description. And it's for free. Everything is for free, just like this lesson, just like all the lessons on Lick and Riffs. But if you want to give something back, you can support me on Patreon and... Um, Become a Lick and Riff uh, patron or just use the yellow donation button on the Lick and Riff website and donate a one-time donation. Everything goes right back into the lessons, into making your next uh, arrangement and guitar education. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.